So hey, Alton, thanks for inviting me. I really problem. appreciate your time and uh, always good to see you, uh, bright and early in the mornings. Yeah. Uh, so, just out of curiosity, what brought you to Live Connect in the first place? You know, I've been, I've been battling uh, really, really high blood pressure right. for about right. 15 years. Right. Um, in fact, I was actually hospitalized about 10 years ago yes. because yes. of it. Um, I kind of had like a heart, like they call it like a minor right. stroke. So, so when you talk about high blood pressure, how high was So I think pressure? without medication, mm -hmm. I am at 190 over 120. Mm -hmm. So like really, really, really high. So this was worse. Yeah, this was, it was, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and so, so with medication though, it, you know, my, my, the high was uh, 140, 150 still, mm -hmm. and then the low was always around 90 to 100. Right, remind me, when, when was, uh, when was all, all this happening? How yeah, so was this it? was happening 15 years ago. Right. Well, 2003, I moved to Shanghai, mm -hmm. right? And then after the first year I was there, my doctor was telling me, oh, my, my low blood pressure mm -hmm. was kind of getting a little dangerous, maybe I should watch myself. Mm -hmm. And then about five years later, I was kind of in a very stressful moment, right. and then I, I went to the doctor because I kind of felt some pains, mm -hmm. and the next thing you know, I was admitted, right. and then they put me on medication, mm -hmm. and then since then, I've just been on medication from then all the way to right. that. But what's been scaring me is that I first had like a, I think one beta blocker, mm -hmm. and then it became a beta blocker and an ACE inhibitor, and then it became two beta blockers and one ACE inhibitor. Mm -hmm. It was still not working. I mean, my, my high was okay. It was like around 150, something like that. But my low was always above 90. Mm. And that kind of was something that really scared right. me. And this, when we first started to talk about this here, it was probably, what, about... Uh, it was that. It was like around 150. Ago? Yeah, it was about a year ago. Well, actually, yeah, a year, year, year and a half. You know, that's when I decided, okay, I'm going to mm. bite the bullet mm. and come in and do a full body checkup, mm -hmm. which I would say, you know, at my age, I, I should be doing that anyways. <laughs> and I, I wasn't doing that. So right. I thought, well, you know, I'll do it. So I, I did the full body checkup, and then I found out that um, you know across the board all my vitamins, mm -hmm. and particularly my the, the bees, mm -hmm. um, was really really like red line low. Uh, a lot of minerals were really low. Um, my gut was leaking. My prostate was inflamed. Um, I had a really really high plastic content count in my body, and um, also my estrogen levels were right. ridiculously high. Right. Well, your doctor started kind of putting me on a plethora of different vitamins and minerals. When you say you came and did all, you know, a full body uh, yeah. uh, check, it was not a standard, you know, plain vanilla uh, health check. No. But rather, check, uh, what we call a functional medicine yes, check, Yes, yes, right? yes. To check your heavy metals, to check yes. your toxins, yes. your organic toxins, yes. uh, to check your levels of hormones in your body. Yes. Uh, so that, that sort of testing. Yeah. Uh, and I guess the, the goal for the doctor at the time was to understand uh, you know, what was causing high blood pressure. Yeah. Rather than in a standard way of doing things, just fixing it symptomatically. And exactly. Give you, give you uh, high blood pressure medications yeah. to bring the blood pressure down without fixing the causes of it. Exactly. Right. And, and I would say that the, the traditional way of doing it didn't work. Right. Because each year yeah. I would have to increase, or every right. couple years I would have right. to increase my That's dosage. Right. And I would say my, um, the low blood pressure number was never under 90. Mm -hmm. Like it was always just mm -hmm. 90 and right. that's already yes. borderline, right? Yes. And, and you would think that if I'm taking this medication and I'm mm -hmm. doing all this medication, I should be well below those numbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's kind of what happened. We did the test and I found out there was kind of a lot wrong with me. And you know, I'm not an overweight guy, sure. I'm, I'm pretty active, yeah. um, but I would say that with the high blood pressure, it did scare me a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I, I never really went full out, right? I mean, I wouldn't go crazy. Right. Like, and by the way, just you know, you know this, uh, this is not uncommon. I mean, yeah. for, for most folks that are on hypertensive medications, it can escalate over time. Yeah. Because if you don't fix what's causing hypertension, yeah. it just gets worse and worse over time. Exactly, right? exactly. Mm -hmm. So what happened was, you know, we kind of went through the process. Mm -hmm. And I'll be the first to admit, I didn't believe it. You know, mm -hmm. but I was thinking, well, I've already taken the time to come in. Perfect. I've done all the tests. All right. You know, I might as well just shut up and listen to what you guys have to say and, and trust that the money I'm paying for the professionals to tell me what to do is something I should listen to. So I, I started doing that and then along with that, um, I started to kind of work out because the doctor was you know, telling me I need to work out. Right. So I, I was always kind of, I would say for maybe like a year or two before that I was working out, but it was more like a day a week, maybe two sure. days a week. Let's fix this in a holistic, holistic way. Right? Yeah. 
let's look at your diet, yes. let's look at your supplements as yes. part of that, yes. let's look at your lifestyle, yeah. right? so it was a, sort of a multifactorial approach. Yeah, so you know, I started to juice mm -hmm. because my diet wasn't very good, I wasn't eating a lot of vegetables, I wasn't exercising as much as I should be, mm -hmm. oh, well added to that actually I was intermittent fasting as well, mm -hmm. so I was also mm -hmm. beginning to eat mm -hmm. a lot less. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking lunch, I'll just eat whatever I want, right. but what I found was what I was eating was not very nutritious. Right. I was kind of going down the mm. rabbit hole. Mm. So little by little by little, like first was the medication, mm -hmm. and then uh, I w became more serious about working out. Mm. And then I became more serious about kind of juicing and right. eating, the veg right. eating more vegetables right. and watching right. my diet. So that process lasted mm. for about a year. Mm. And then after a year, I came back and then we kind of did the, the annual physical again. Mm -hmm. And I started to figure out that pretty much everything was back to normal. i had been monitoring my blood pressure mm -hmm. and they actually said, well, the blood pressure medication I was taking was a little bit too strong. Mm -hmm. So my, you know, I, my, my low was like 60 and my, my high was 100. Mm -hmm. And um, actually I sent that to you at that time and you were like, maybe I should see the doctor and we should talk about it, right? So what happened was then she put me on another uh, medication. Mm -hmm. I forgot which the, the pill was. Um, but then we, we started to do that and then my blood pressure was still low mm -hmm. like after taking the medication. The numbers were still about the same. Right. So then she kind of gave me another pill which was a half dosage mm -hmm. of that. Mm -hmm. And you know now I'm, you know, I, my blood pressure is uh, I would say 110, 120, mm -hmm. uh, and the yeah. low is uh, 60 to 70, yeah, that's, which was that's the very normal. first time I've ever right. had this in right. 15 years. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I've been completely sold right. on it. So, so basically what, uh, what happened uh, uh, from the sounds of it was, oh, firstly, you were coming to see the physician, not just one, uh, one year later. You no, no, no. I mean, we've been, I mean, I would say this, uh, each time I come, yeah. they'll give me a month to two months worth of dosage of right. vitamins and supplements, yeah. as well as right. my blood pressure medication right. you know, right. when, when, when she started yes. prescribing it to me. Yes. So that kind of led to monthly or mm -hmm. every other month visits, and then it right. would be really quick sessions. So, so basically it sounds like you know, over a, a essentially a year long period, so this yeah. wasn't an overnight thing. No, 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 this was a, a very... Long period yeah. where you, uh, 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 the physician was acting sort of as a quarterback for the whole process totally. of getting more healthy, yeah. right? Looked at your diet, looked at your, you know, what you're taking in terms yeah. of your supplements, yeah. uh, looked at what you're doing in terms of your exercise, putting it all together, yeah. following up on your progress, yeah. tweaking the program as, as time went along, yeah. uh, and got you now to a point where maybe you could come off blood pressure medications altogether. Possibly. Well, possibly. Yeah. I mean, it's I still got a long, I still got to work on the diet. Right. I'm still right. not the right. best eater. But what's been uh, interesting is that you know, I didn't even know mm -hmm. what the effects of uh, having an inflamed prostate was, or sure. or a leaky gut, sure. or any of that kind of stuff. Like right. some of the, it was interesting because you know in the beginning I took all these crazy pills, mm -hmm. and then they it started to change. Like yes. I was taking different things, yes. and you know, some were from my gut, mm -hmm. some were from my prostate, mm -hmm. some was to get rid of. Mm -hmm. um, Plastics in my sure. body. And just to be clear, these are all supplements. And supplements, yeah. supplements, supplements and vitamins. Not drugs. No, right. no, yeah. no, no, no. Very good. Yeah. So, so after we kind of gone through that, I mean, what's been interesting is, you know, um, I can now eat spicy foods. Mm. But before I would eat spicy foods, I'd have to take like a Pepsi C or right. something like that. But right. actually, now I can take it. Fantastic. And um, it won't. I mean, it, it, it still burns, <laughs> but sure. but at least um, I won't get the heartburn that I right. used to get. Right. And I'm not. I'm, I'm much less sensitive to foods. So let's stay on that for a bit. Yeah. Other than being able to eat spicy foods, and obviously yeah. now uh, having to take less drugs yeah. to control your blood pressure. What other benefits have you have you discovered? I mean, whether you know whether direct benefits or side benefits have you? Discovered? Well, I mean, I would I would say this. I think, and I can't. It's very difficult for me just to look at only the medication, sure. or the supplements, and vitamins, but right. the whole lifestyle change, yeah. which I think was, you know, again quarterbacked by the doctor, mm -hmm. um, has really gotten me to a point where. You know, I'm 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 the strongest I've ever been in my life. That's like I've never true. worked out my life right. before, and then right. when I started working out. So I'm the strongest, strongest I've ever been in my life. I'm 48, so a lot of times I get really sluggish and tired. Mm -hmm. I get no fatigue anymore. Like my mind is a lot crisper. I'm just able to function a lot better. Sure. And then the the side benefit that actually I never thought I would start to enjoy is sports again. Mm -hmm. So you know, I play football in the league. And I've always been the oldest guy on the team, right. but now I'm actually out there, you know, I'm giving them a run for their money, right? <laughs> like I can kind of, I can hustle, right? That's great. 
and um, playing tennis has been you know really good and I just feel overall healthier right I just feel mm. healthier my moods That's better wonderful. and I'm able to deal with pressures better mm, and at the same time I'm sleeping better what's been really exciting about the whole thing is that you know I'm not a person that likes to work out or exercise or live healthy or eat healthy but because of the changes that's been going on with me and the benefits that I've seen, right. it's actually encouraged me to have a full lifestyle change. Right. So now I'm kind of working on, now I'm beginning to work on the diet. Mm. And I'm hoping that, you know, maybe if the diet might continue to exercise, mm-hmm. that maybe I can get off the medication. That's but, but that's kind of yeah, that's where I'm at. It's working out. I mean, I remember yeah. uh, seeing you a few weeks ago. At, uh, we, we were out on the Detroit weekend yeah. with my you know, little baby. And uh, you know, I looked over and I said, "My God, I'll yeah. have a six pack." I mean, <laughs> well, I don't have a six pack, but I would say that uh, you know, it's it's definitely there's not fat right. <laughs> as much fat yeah. anymore. Yeah, I've never really cared about like the body and physical appearance mm-hmm. too much, but I think that that does factor. That does give sure. you confidence. How about in terms of mental clarity? Oh, that's, that's night there. Yeah. You know, before it was like I need to think about something. I'll grab a cigarette, mm-hmm. right? Sure. But now it's. Um, I actually am just, you know, you're just crisp. Right. Like when I wake up in the morning, right. I'm alert. I'm not groggy, right? right? And when I go to sleep, there's no like rolling around in bed mm. and close my eyes, I'm out. So mentally, and, and you know, and it's interesting because during the coronavirus sure. and everything that's happening, sure. where you're really not exercising your mind mentally as sure. much, that I'm still able to sleep mm-hmm. and not worry about, you know, what's the economy going to be like and how's our business mm-hmm. and all this kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm still able to kind of rest well. So, so right. it's been yeah. wonderful. Yeah. That's good. How about uh, illnesses? And when was the last time you got a flu or you know? Oh illness? wow! I didn't even think about that. Um, I don't. I don't remember when I got sick last time. The uh, last time I got sick well, was well before I started the, the treatment. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm healthy. Wonderful. So. Well. Thanks very much for sharing. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah, really it's been a great, it's been a great experience, time. you know. And you know. I think uh, we are at a midpoint of the journey, from my perspective. Yeah. And the reason I say that is that I think we have helped you, uh, you know, wean yourself away from the regular medications and drugs that, yeah. you know, that uh, is normally used to control hypertension. I think that's the first step. Yeah. Uh, we're getting you now to a point where you're feeling good and healthy and alert and you know, your mental clarity is better than ever. But I think we, we can even get to a point where you're in optimal health. And yeah, really and I think that's kind of what we're trying to do now. Watch, yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, the goal for me, the start of this journey was the, the barometer on right. how well I'm doing right. has never been about, I would say, really overall health has been more about my blood pressure. Sure. Because that's been something that I've been rather worried about yes. my whole life. And, and that's important because the blood pressure was uh, just an indicator. It was the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. Because that represents other things that are going on in your exactly. body. Exactly. So yeah. now that we've you know, more or less fixed that, you know, I think that the next goal is to get you to a point where you know you are you know above the average normal health, yeah. which you are already getting to. But I think we could do uh, do, uh, do an even better job of that, yeah. uh, and frankly, get a point where you're living longer uh, and uh, performing better than than. Well, yeah, you know, I got two young kids like you, so I want to be around, right? Absolutely, so. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, yeah, thank you. Yeah, no problem.